I think uh, in our situation, we play many games in uh, our championship and we travel a lot with the FIBA Euro Cup. I think we make like three bad mistakes in, in this group when we start the group with three losing. And after when we have time to, to prepare our game and have some rest, we start to play good. Last game we played great in our home because I think we don't have any pressure. We say we're going to do our best and we win by 30. And this game, we go with the same mentality. Like we show our game, the first game that we play against them, we don't run, we get make many mistakes. Maybe this is one of the bad games that we play. But this game, I hope, like we control all the game. Like for 40 minutes, we control the game. We play really good, we play tough, we go to the offensive rebound, we score amazing shots. But to be honest, like if you ask me about my opinion, I'm really mad because we deserve to win more than 20 points today. But in the end of uh, the quarter, we make many mistakes, many turnovers. We start not moving the ball in the zone. So, uh, but it's okay. Win is win, always win. I prefer to come back home like with winning game than a losing game. So uh, for sure, we're going to have a week to prepare this uh, mistake that we make in, uh, in our offense and in our defense. But we are great. We are great. We come here with 10 players. And uh, I'm not seeing like many teams. They start the competition with three lose and they get back. We have one more game. We need to show. Like we, we do this in the first group. We lose like first game and after we get back and we go first in the, our group. So. We're gonna do. We're gonna keep fighting for this uh, target. Like Macram said, I think that we can. In the end, I'm sorry. Uh, in the end, uh, we feel that we can. We deserve to win by more points. Well, we start real well the the game, running, play our style. Um, but uh, in the last quarter, we are thinking too much against the zone. Uh, we don't move the ball like we need to move in the offense, and basically, they get back a little to the game uh, because about that way that we we play in the offense. Uh, we are playing like the game is already over, and the game is not over. So, I think this is what was our mistake because um, we can win. I think that we deserve to win by more than the, the nine points that we win. Congratulations from uh, Benfica Lisbon for the win. Finally, we get back to the game, <coughs> like, you, you, like you saw, for sure. There was not bad end of the game, but our start of the game was not really, really good. They, they make too much offensive rebounds. We, we, didn't, we, can make, we cannot run after that, but uh, we start not bad the second half of the game, and we got our some chances to, to win that game, but Finally, that Benfica is <coughs> take that one. Uh, it's hard to play sometimes without full roster, and it's hard to sometimes prepare the team when you don't have full roster. And there was, let's say, tough time for us, but still we never we d we don't give up, and we was playing till the end. Thank you so much. Uh, congratulations to Benfica. Uh, they won really important game in our uh, in our group. Um, like I said, we had some unexpected changes in the roster, so we couldn't prepare like we wanted to, but uh, we were fighting in the second half, uh, probably because we started the game uh, really slow and uh, Benfica had a big lead. It was really hard to come back. Uh, we did it anyway. Um, small mistakes at the end uh, caused us the win, but still congratulations to our team also, because we were fighting till the end, uh, even though we were missing a uh, few players. Thank you. Myślę, że bym miał pytanie właśnie, co jest z Dalinem Dolsejem, bo słyszałem coś, że on na poniedziałku na treningu coś się wydarzyło, ale co się, jaka, co się z nim stało, że dzisiaj nie zagrał? Jest kontuzowany, ma naciągnięty miesiąc w głowie. I czy na radę raczej zagrać, czy nie? Ciężko powiedzieć, jutro ma, kole ma wizytę u lekarza, e więc się okaże, może jutro, może w piątek, może w sobotę. To jest taka kontuzja, że on musi też sam wiedzieć, czy jest gotowy, czy nie. A z Dariusem Motenem sprawy mają się ku lepszemu, czy...? To na pewno jest być może dłuższa kontuzja, ale to też dzisiaj na chwilę obecną nam ciężko powiedzieć. I też właśnie tutaj domyślam się, że raczej właśnie to się stało z wymogów kadrowych, ale w składzie już nawet rozgrywał dzisiaj był Mateusz Szlachetka. Co on nie jest gotowy do gry, on za miesiąc ma dopiero decyzję lekarza. On jest... Wchodzi w delikatny trening, e, 
typu taka rozgrzewka, on miał uraz dosyć poważny, więc jakakolwiek decyzja do powrotu do treningów takich pełnych, żebyśmy mogli z niego korzystać, to będzie po przerwie kadrowej. A tak tylko na koniec zapytam, bo przed sportingiem w pełnym składzie się uda... pierwszy trening w pełnym składzie przed sportingiem był bodajże na 4 dni przed meczem. Na dwa dni przed meczem. Na dwa dni nawet przed meczem. To jak było teraz właśnie z treningami 5 na 5? I... Nie było ich w ogóle. Po prostu no nie było, bo nie mieliśmy tylu zawodników. Więc też ciężko tak się przygotować do spotkania. Nie, nie staram się nikogo uwiniać, po prostu no ciężko się trenuje, ale no, jak widać nie poddajemy się. Mam nadzieję, że jak będziemy w pełnym rosterze na pewno łatwiej będzie trenować jakieś schematy. No i tyle.